Hello Internet, this is my Birchbox video for October 2014. I know it's super late, but I got in on it late in the game. This is my first ever Birchbox, and I got it... Uh, when did I get it? A couple days ago, I don't know, I got it a couple days ago, earlier this week, so it was already November when I got it, but um, I ordered it late in October, and I was expecting to get just the November box, but I got the October box, so... I'm going to go ahead and unbox that because I've been watching everybody else's unboxing videos and nobody else has gotten like the exact same thing that I got, which I don't know, I guess I'm so used to Ipsy where a lot of people get the same stuff that Birchbox is a whole new world for me, so um, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, let's see, oh, what is this? First thing I see here is, can't read it. Macadamia Natural Oil Flawless Cleansing Conditioner. It's a 6-in-1 cleansing conditioner. So it's like one of those... Yeah, you're supposed to use it like in place of shampoo and conditioner. And it's kind of... I guess it's kind of like that wind... Wind? Yeah, wind stuff where it's like you're just supposed to put conditioner in your hair and, it, and no shampoo, nothing that lathers. So I, I've never... Well, I tried the wind because it came in a glam... Glam bag. Ipsy bag once and I didn't really like it because I'm I don't know if it doesn't make suds I don't feel like I'm getting clean so I don't know about this but I will definitely try it I'm glad this is like a decent size so I can use it more than once which is great so I will you know use that and you know, post an update on the blog or something with what I think about it and it's essential or essential elements shower gel and it doesn't have a scent on it so oh, bubble Wow. Wow, okay. Man, that's another one of those like clearing my sinuses smells. It smells like rosemary. Is this is this rosemary? Let's see. Yep, it's the wake up rosemary shower gel. Uh it's got honey and rosemary and mint oils. That's definitely what I smell. It smells really good, but if you have like <laughs> allergies, sinus blockage, this will clear it up. It's kinda like Vicks Vapor Rub, except it smells a lot better. So that's good can never have too much shower gel. Um, this next thing, is this Suki? Rescue Skin Crisis Intervention. Suki is the brand name, it's the Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser. How can it, Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser. I'm not sure how that works, but this little jar, it smells like lemons. It smells like lemons, it smells really good. Ooh, it's really soft. Yeah, it's definitely got, you know, little granules in it for exfoliation, but what does the card say? Oh, smells deliciously lemony. I get that, get that right. Um, Two-in-one cleanser and exfoliator that rejuvenates skin and smells deliciously lemony. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of yellow in color, and it does have granules in it. They're really soft, though, which is good because I don't like the harsh exfoliants. They just kind of, like, tear up my skin, so I'm glad that this one is soft which I think you have to like activate it with water in order to get the foaming part. So that would be really interesting. <laughs> I'm interested to see how this will work. So Next I have this little cardboard thing here which has two things inside. What is this? First thing is... Mm, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this brand name. It's a matte moisture tint. Sunscreen broad, broad, I can't talk today. Broad Spectrum SPF 15 oil free. There you go. Can't read the brand name. I've heard of it, but I don't know how you say it. Um, but yeah, so sunscreen that's good, and it's really like a small travel size, and I wear sunscreen every single day, so that's a good thing. Um, this is Coastal Sense Revealed Palette Sampler in Ballerina. Um, so it's just like four samples from. I guess it's a palette that, is this palette already out? I don't know. But, let's see here. Ooh. So these are all, um, rose tinted shadows. Um, yeah, so just a range of rose tinted shadows. They're really pretty. I've actually already, like, kind of stuck my finger <laughs> in it. So, um, I tried to get swatches of this so I can put pictures of it on the blog because I don't think this is going to show up very well on the camera, not with the bright light right there, but there's a really, you know, light highlight color 
kind of a deeper dusty rose and then a much darker um, like shimmery purplish with rose tint and then a darker like more purple like matte color and you know they feel really really smooth and you know so I think these are going to be really great and I like that they're kind of like they're neutral sh tones but they're also rosy tones I don't know if that makes any sense um but yeah so that and that was the last item that I got in my October birch box so I'm you know overall I'm really I'm pretty impressed with birch box I think a long time ago I wanted to get a birch box because I've been an ipsy glam bag whatever subscriber almost since the beginning the only one I didn't get was the very first one and because so I've been a subscriber since like oh 2011 2012 January 2012 something like that it's been like almost three years and I you know I looked at Birchbox and it looked like I don't know it looked like I wouldn't really get anything that I would use and then I went back and looked at it again later it's been like a year or something and now I'm like oh, okay maybe I'll give this a try so I'm glad I did because I do think you know the stuff I got this time is all stuff that I'm interested in trying and interested in seeing if I like it so that's good because a lot of times with Ipsy I feel like I get things that I wouldn't really use or aren't really my color or something and you know you take a quiz just like you do with Birchbox and like fill out your profile and they're supposed to send you things that match that profile so maybe maybe Birchbox's like profile thing is better than Ipsy's I don't know sometimes I get really good Ipsy bags so so find me on beautycleric.com where I will have more you know other types of things all the things all the things um, like swatches and reviews and things like that. I also try to make videos out of those and you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and what's the other one? Instagram and those links will be down below. Those are kind of brand new so there's not a lot of stuff there yet but if you're interested they're there. And thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.